What's up, YouTube? This is Jace Cuss, Ryan right here. Um, coming back at you with another video. Uh, today we're doing a haircut tutorial on my boy Jacob. It's a high taper. Uh, I cut the, uh, I did cut the top a little bit, and I gave him a slit from his eyebrow all the way right here. But um, I did not include the slit or this or the top in the video. Like I said, my past uh, tutorial. If you guys want to see like in depth, more in depth hair, hair like tutorials. How to do stuff like that like that like just just let me know like in the comments and I'll make sure to do videos more in depth about things like that but yeah I hope you enjoy the video uh, like I said I'm still getting used to this like YouTube thing so I'm kind of covering the camera a lot you know just just little things but I'm definitely beginning to get up, getting better uh, with your guys support too uh, it, it helps a lot so make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys at the end enjoy the video peace all right, this is my boy Jacob. You guys prob will probably see him in some future videos. Asked him what he wanted. Um, he said the usual, the high taper. You probably can see that little line on the side of his head from the last time he got it shaved in there, but he did ask for the slit again. Slit in the eyebrows, slit inside the head. And a little trim up top. He usually does like a slight, like a comb over, but we'll see what he wants. So first you gotta get that ball line. I'm using my Andes Slimline Pro LIs. I'm gonna set in a nice even ball line. He wanted a high taper, so I put it in higher. Balled it out, make sure it's nice and good. Balled it out, and then you're gonna, I'm gonna hit it with the, the shaver. Don't go up all the way. You don't want, because if you go up all the way, it's gonna be really hard to blend in that, that no guard to the clothes. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard to blend that into the, to the ball. So now we're gonna go in with the magic clips. I have the black and gold edition. And you're gonna go in with about half inch, a half inch up, open. Just make it really even, really clean. And then you're gonna eventually wanna start closing a little bit, going down, playing with the lever, and eventually close it all the way and get that line out. All right, now we got the one guard open. We're gonna go up probably about an inch because I leave room to work with the for the half and the and the closed one. Because if you if you put the he wants a high taper. If you put the one too low, it'll be kind of considered a low taper. But just to let you know what I mean. If you don't like, I said comments, Instagram. Just just ask, ask me specific questions. Yeah, like. But anyways, get the one all cleaned up, all even. And then I'm gonna go to the to the half, and because the half open is to, is really close to the one closed, I'm gonna start going in with that half open and cleaning that area up, and start closing it and playing with the lever and slowly getting that line knocked out. And you might see me go a little bit too high with this half open, which brings up the one. So I will go have to go back in with the one later and clean that back up. But like like if you see what I'm doing right here, it's some corners like full blade like it, it just you got to use your eyes and and see what will work best for this fade right here now we're gonna hop in after i'm done with this one we're gonna hop in with the with the half guard open one and a half guard open and go up all the way right where you want to start blending in with the clipper over comb and you're going to go up all the way and you're going to just start cleaning it up what i do is i like once i get up to one side almost done i'll like clean up half the head just with the desired length just to just to clean it up for myself just to see what i'm going to work with yeah that's pretty much what i'm doing right now just with the one and a half open cleaning it up like i said there is a cut there is a little bit of a line but i do go back later and and get that out and now after you're done with that half guard open just cleaning it up you're gonna hit it with that half one and a half guard close just a little bit lower and hopefully you see that line come out a little bit more and i do go back in later with the one and just clean it up but i don't include it in this video just because i'm trying to get the videos a little bit shorter you know what i mean but 
All right, now we're gonna flip it around to the back. Same process, bald line. I like to do the back a little bit of a curve just because of the way the head goes up. You just gotta look at the head and see what works best. If it's a straight line, if it's a curve, it just really depends. You gotta learn, you gotta learn that. So just dusting them off a bit. And then I, I'm gonna go in with a shaver and I'm gonna get it completely bald. I'm gonna bald them out. Make sure it's not all the way up, like I said, to that where you did the bald line, but but it's pretty good, pretty good length, or you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, just bald them out. Uh, usually, I like to I like to clean up lower on the neck, just so I don't have to go back later, and on the sides of the neck where the like kind of like under the ears. But I don't do that in this video. And right here, you're gonna go in with the one, with the no guard open, my bad. And you're just gonna, like I, like I always say, lever play. And this is one of the most important parts. You don't want that bottom line to be sitting there because once you get far into the haircut and that bottom line isn't out yet, it's hard to go back and, and it's, you usually forget where you were at. So try and get that line really knocked out as best you can. And after you do that, you're gonna go in with the one open, put it up a good like inch, just get it nice and long especially with his neck his neck is kind of weird it's really like long in the back so even though if it looks like i'm going high the fade the taper still looks low in the back later you'll see in the video at the end but like i said just clean it up with that one then you're going to end up hitting it with the one closed just to get it a little bit shorter and then you start fading it out with the with the half guard eventually closing it and yep that should be faded out just like the side and then you're gonna i'm gonna start hitting it with a half one and a half closed and it's trying to get that top line out and if this doesn't work you're gonna have to go back in with the one open and attack that line and flick it out and if that doesn't work you're gonna bring it up a little bit and you're gonna have to hit it with that one closed and then maybe a little bit more open than closed and just start flicking and flicking and flicking it's a lot of flicking a lot of corners this might take a little bit longer than usual just because of you might get yourself lost but you'll get it trust me you'll get it just a lot of detail work right here going in with the one the half the one and a half just letting you guys know it you're never gonna finish a haircut the first time you're gonna want you're gonna see things while you're spinning you're gonna want to fix things like you're not no one's perfect i'm definitely not perfect i'm still working in my damn garage like my parents garage like even better you know like no one's perfect freaking chris basio 360 gz like no one's perfect everybody can admit it yeah i'm pretty much dusting them off that should be it for the cut this is the finished product mm, look at that look at that high taper look at them look at them earrings popping too like i said look the taper in the back still looks a little low What's up guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I wanna let you guys know that I wanna hear everything, the good, the bad, you know, all that good stuff, but not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, if you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, all that good stuff, don't be afraid to hit me up on Instagram, in the comments, stuff like that. Just let me know, I'm always here. And uh, don't be afraid, of course, hit that like button, the subscribe button, you know, all that. But anyways, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Late. I almost forgot. Me and a couple guys that hit me up on Instagram, just watching my YouTube, I think. They hit me up on Instagram. We've been talking a lot, trying to get something started just for small YouTubers, because I, I told them that a lot of people hit me up just asking questions. Uh, we started like a little forum. We started a Discord for any, any aspiring barbers, anyone who's trying to get into the industry, anything like that if you guys have any questions at all we made a discord for something like that if you want to hop in just ask the question we're always we're always checking it out we're always checking it it's me and my two friends that i just met actually which is cool about youtube we meet a whole lot of people but i'm gonna put that link in the description below don't be afraid to hop in and join ask questions whenever it's up to you but thanks again thanks for watching the video don't forget to check out the discord and i'll catch you guys later